Hi, hope you're all doing good. In this video, let's focus on the following topics starting with indifferent fiber plexus. So if you review literature given in Orbans, it's mentioned that small collagen fibers associated with large principal collagen fibers have been described and these fibers run in all directions forming a plexus called indifferent fiber plexus. Right? Now moving on to the next question, acid base balance assessment, do we use arterial blood or a venous blood. So let's review some literature pertaining to the same. So as you can see arterial blood gases ABGs are the gold standard to assess acid base balance, ventilation as well as blood oxygenation and you can review some additional information given in this article. Right? It's a abstract. Now moving on to the next question, Kindler syndrome. So if you review literature pertaining to the same, Kindler syndrome is a rare type of epidermolysis bullosa, which is a group of genetic conditions that cause the skin to be very fragile and to blister easily. And you can find additional information pertaining to the same, see if it's helpful in answering your query, right? Now let's move to the next topic, interocclusal space in case of implant supported over denture. So if you review literature, at least 13 to 14 mm interocclusal space is required for bar supported over denture considering teeth size, denture base thickness, bar thickness for rigidity and the space from the mucosa to the bar for hygiene and soft tissue thickness and minimum stress requirement for ball attachment is 10 to 12 mm and for locators it is 8.5 mm. Right now, moving on to the next topic, case-based question pertaining to Ludwig's angina. So just review the clinical features. I'm sure you're all aware of the same. The patient with Ludwig's angina manifests a rapidly developing board-like swelling of floor of mouth and consequent elevation of tongue. Right. Also, you can find the lab findings, treatment, and prognosis pertaining to the same. Right. So let me know what the question is in specific. We'll review and we'll update additional information if required. In the description part of the video. Now let's move on to the next case based question pertaining to distal shoe appliance. So if you review literature given in McDonald's, mesial movement and migration of first permanent molar often occurs before eruption in instances of premature loss of second primary molar. So distal shoe appliance as you can see in the image Roche have advocated a crown and band appliance with distal intragingival extension. This appliance or modifications of it may be used to maintain in space or in some instances to influence the active eruption of first permanent molar in distal direction. So in the equation I guess the keywords were five year old child which means the permanent tooth the permanent first molar is still not erupted and also it's given in the keywords that there is gross decay or gross carious tooth in relation to deciduous second molar which is extracted so what would be the treatment so obviously we go for distal shoe space maintainer for the very same reason which we discussed now right so this distal shoe appliance or its modifications may be used to maintain space or in some instances to influence the active eruption of first permanent molar in distal direction right I hope it's clear moving on to the next topic in case of patients with liver disease which of the uh, tests is performed clotting time bleeding time uh, and so on see if you review literature as you're all familiar with Liver is associated with synthesis of various clotting factors, isn't it? 27910, vitamin K dependent, isn't it? So coagulation abnormalities in liver disease. In fact, hemostasis is intimately related to liver function because most coagulation factors are synthesized by liver parenchymal cells and the liver's reticular endothelial system serves an important role in clearance of activation products. Right? Acute or chronic hepatocellular diseases may display decrease in vitamin K dependent factors, especially 27910, protein C and S, whereas other parameters remain normal. Right? So this is some literature pertaining to the specific case-based question on liver disease. So there is coagulation disorder, clotting factors, derailment, and there is deficiency in clotting factors leading to coagulation disorders. Right? I hope it's clear. Now moving on to the next topic. 
abstraction there seems to be a question the only keyword which i received is abstraction see if this information is helpful in answering the question so if you review literature given in Schaefer, you have erosion attrition abstraction and abrasion so the definition of abstraction is loss of tooth surface at the cervical areas of teeth caused by tensile and compressive forces during tooth flexure and clinical appearance affects buccal or labial cervical areas of teeth deep narrow v-shaped notch and commonly affects single teeth with excursive interferences or eccentric occlusal loads right moving on to the next topic Young's modulus or stiffness which we discussed n number of times in our e-classes as well as study club so elastic modulus also called as Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity so the word stiffness should come to mind upon reading one of these three terms in dental literature as mentioned in Phillips elastic modulus describes the relative stiffness or rigidity of a material which is measured by a slope of elastic region of stress strain graph which we discussed in our e-classes right now moving on to the final topic mesothelioma is associated with inhalation of asbestos as you're all familiar with so malignant mesothelioma is an aggressive form of cancer that typically originates in the pleural but can also occur in peritoneum pericardium and around the testis asbestos exposure is the only established risk factor known to be causally related to mesothelioma right so these are some of the topics which i wanted to highlight in this specific video so if you have any additional keywords or key points or questions do let me know in the comment section below we'll review them in the coming videos as well i hope it's clear wish you all the best love you all and you need any further clarification pertaining to these topics do let me know we'll update additional information in the description part of the video take care